Hello and welcome to Hexed Encountered. My name's Joe. Today I'm going to be doing my final video, most likely, on the game Stalingrad Advance to the Volga 1942. This is by Michael Ranella. Uh, Take Game Designs, published by Revolution Games. It's Solitaire Area Movement Series Volume 1. I'm going to be playing the Factory District scenario, which is the uh, kind of the secondary scenario as opposed to the main scenario. The main scenario covers the first uh, 18 days of fighting for the city of Stalingrad in 1942 in September by the uh, when the German 6th Army rolled up onto, uh, you know, rolled up to the area and attempted to capture the city. So that covered nine game turns. Each game turn is two days. That covered turns one through nine um, here on the turn track. Here on the turn track, we have turns 10 through 14 in October. Starting on October 14th and running through October 31st. So um, you can see that some of these are more than two days. Some of these are actually three days. First turn is two. Second turn is actually four. Then there's uh, four, four, and uh, four. So only the first turn is two days. The rest of them are four days. So this one covers a similar amount of time. But... Uh, Actually, it is exactly the same amount of time, 18 days, but uh, it's only compressed into five turns. Uh, some of the things, uh, some of the mechanisms in the game change a little bit. Um, setup, for example, is very, very simple. Uh, the Germans have most of the map under control. The factory district, which is this area and area to the north, which is currently off shot, uh, here's Pavlov's house, which is an optional rule that I'm going to I am going to elect to use for this. So obviously, if you're familiar with the uh, Dan Versen Games published Pavlov's house um, game that was designed by David Thompson, that is a that is an excellent game, uh, first in the Valiant Defense series. But I don't want to digress digress too much on that. I did do a video on on that game on the uh, actual, on the PC game version of it, which is identical to the piece, to the uh, tabletop game. But, um, yeah, so we have Pavlov's house here in the south. So this is be basically the southern anchor of the so final Soviet defense line, essentially. This was the nitty-gritty fighting. This was, you know, how the, how the campaign ultimately was determined, um, that the Soviets held on and the Germans were unable to capture the city. And uh, if you know your history, you know what happened after that. The 6th Army ended up being encircled and ultimately had to surrender. And it was a big defeat for the Germans, and they were pretty much on the defensive for the balance of the war against the Soviets um, in general. So we will get started. Uh, let, me, let me go real quick through the, some of the uh, differences here with this. So uh, for the factory district scenario... You get, um, it's, here's our random events chart, which is a little bit different from the main game. There's no logistical pauses, <laughs> which makes me happy because those things killed me in my regular playthrough, which if you haven't watched it, uh, go for it and you'll see how frustrating it can be to continue to roll logistical pauses. They're replaced with rain, which basically prohibits air support and reduces all the Germans' movement factor to four. So that mainly will impact the uh, the armored units whose uh, movement factor is typically six or sometimes five. Uh, most of the rest of these are are very similar to what's in the uh, what's in the main base game. So on the first first turn, any German supply roll result of sixteen is sixteen, and in addition, we always the Germans will always receive two air support markers free of cost. That's different as well. The Germans win if they conquer the whole map. That's it. If they don't, they lose. Okay. Um, their failure to do so, they wanted to basically capture the city. The designer note mentions this. They wanted to capture the city so that they would be able to pull their units into reserve in anticipation of the uh, annual Soviet winter offensive, winter counteroffensive. They were unable to do that, and the results ended up being disastrous for uh, the 6th Army in particular, and the uh, the German Army in general. So we will begin as per usual. We do not have a random event phase. That's another thing. There is no random event phase in this scenario. So we are just going to go right into turn number 10. 
and we will roll for supply. So again, if I roll less than a 16, it becomes a 16, but we're hoping for something better. And we get uh, 11, 14, 15, so we get 16. So one thing you may, and that's on the wrong track here, but uh, 16 is this. You'll notice there's no control, uh, or maybe you won't notice since the sh it's not in the shot. There is no uh, control markers on here because we don't use them in this scenario. There are no forced withdrawals. It is possible that you can lose withdraw lose a unit, uh, the 14th Panzer, I believe, from a from an event. But um, there's no forced withdrawal of a unit here. Uh, we do get on the 12th turn. We do get some reinforcements here with the 79th Division. But uh, other than that, th this is this is the situation, and we're just going to kind of go with it. So we did get 16. We get two free air support, as I mentioned. So I'm going to put those here in our available support. You may also notice we have units in the out of action box to begin. Our morale starts at 15 instead of 19. And so, you know, the dynamics are a little bit different. The time is compressed, obviously. You have, um, in theory, as long in terms of real lifetime, but in reality... You have, uh, you know, five less turns or four less turns rather to uh, actually accomplish your goal. You also have fewer areas to conquer, but you still have a good amount. So we have our two free air supports. I would like to, to uh, get these guys out of the uh, out of the out of action box. So I may spend some of my precious 16 supply points on that, as well as buying some uh, artillery support as well. Okay, so um, we're going to buy this armor unit back um, and put it up top. That's off shot right now. That costs me two, so that leaves 14. And I think I'll buy my seven artillery like I usually do, except this time it'll be eight. So that'll give me 14. Um, that'll get, leave me with my six. And I will maybe pull more units out of the uh, out of the pokey here next turn. So that's going to leave me with, like I said, six supply points. And so we'll start here in Pavlov's house since it's it's in the shot right now. It's, it's easy to do. Uh, we can actually do that one and this one. Um, so we may as well do that. So what we're going to do here is, again, we have three units here. They're all from the same division the 71st so they're going to attack they're attacking pavlov's house it's a 10 they get plus four for the for the terrain so it's a 14 so it's three plus two is five i'm going to apply my air support in fact i'm going to apply both air supports <laughs> i can use three total support so i am going to do that so we have five Plus one for division is, is six, plus one for morale is seven, plus two is nine, and we're going to roll two dice to reduce uh, their defense here. Actually, you know what? We'll do one. We'll just do one. We're going to roll one die. Let's move this into the shot. And look at that. We got a six. We got a six. So that 14 becomes an eight. And so now we have, as I mentioned, we have, uh, what did I say it was? Five plus two is seven plus two more is nine. So it's nine to eight. Nine to eight. So we'll roll for the Soviets first. And that one bounced out, but it's a three. So four. They have 12. Uh, we have nine. And we get eight more is 17. So we actually cracked it. And we'll take that. I will take that. So Pavlov's house has been knocked out. We take it. These guys are spent. Again, we don't care about control points. Um, because we're just trying to clear the map, basically. All right. So up here we have a fanatic in Mamayev uh, Kurgan. Who gets a plus four as well. That's a 13. So this is another. This is why I only went with one air support. Because I'm going to use the other one here. And I'm going to use two artillery for this one. As well. 
So uh, I'm in the wrong spot. That's Banny Gully, which they already control. Uh, so we have, let me, just so I don't make that mistake. All of these that have units in them need to have markers as well. So they have 13. We have, uh, we'll use the three as the lead unit. So we have five again, plus two is seven, plus four is 11. And then we're going to roll for their airstrike and we get a two. So that's not great. So they have 11 and we also have 11. This time they get six, so they have 17. So we need a decent roll here. And we didn't get it, we got a four. So we lose. So, um, I guess we have to retreat. So we'll retreat here. I don't know where they came from because we started in, in there already. Um, but that was, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. All right. So that's two. Now I'm going to shift the shot so that we can see more of the map. Okay. Next, we're going to take these two guys right here who both have a six movement factor. We'll move them in here, which will cost them two where they'll meet up with this guy and move into the oil refinery area. We flip that over ambush 10, <laughs> Five plus two is seven. They only get plus one, no divisional integrity. So they have eight. We will give them two artillery support to make them 12. So it is 14 and ambush as before. Ambush here. Eliminate the lead unit after combat resolution unless we have an overrun or a repulse. It's extremely unlikely we're going to get an overrun. Their defense value is a 10. We need to beat them by 10 to do that. And that's extremely unlikely. So, as I mentioned, we get, uh, it's 5 plus 1, plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. So, it's 14, 12. They're rolling. They roll a 6. So, they have 20. So, it's 20 to 12. And they, fin they win 20 to 19. So, that is a repulse. So, we don't lose our unit. But we do have to retreat back into the gully here. So we are not doing well in this uh, this first turn, but you you expect this to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. So let's uh, let's now move. Um, this is Red October Steelworks. We're going to send these guys in. The six will be the lead, and we have two of the three hundred fifth here hanging around, going along with it. So that's six plus three is nine plus one is 10 for morale. They don't actually, I need to knock my morale down. I got repulsed twice. So my morale's down to 13, but they still get the plus one for morale. So six plus three is nine plus one is 10. They get barrage and four and a barrage is you either place one of the attacking units in the out of action box prior to combat resolution or you flip all your units spent and uh, retreat. So I'm going to put this guy, put the uh, put this guy in the out of action box, uh, even though I don't want to. And we're going to have now we lost one point on our attack. So now we have eight plus one is nine against eleven. Uh, we will add one artillery support, so it's eleven eleven. They roll a 10, so they have 21. We roll a 10, so we also have 21. So we have a, we're going to have some uh, bloody streets next turn here at the uh, Red October Steelworks. So here we'll just do that. And so now we'll move again up the map here. We have these three which are all from the same division, the 14th. This is the 14th Panzer Division. So um, let's try to actually make a little progress here. And I'm going to attack the Scul Sculptoni Park here, which is a plus three, as opposed to going for the Bar Barricati Ordnance Factory. So they're going to move here. Um, we'll, bring, we'll bring this guy along from the 305th. Why not? 
So the lead unit is a 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, um, and I think I'll keep, I'm just going to go 11 for now. Let's see what this is. This is a guard's 9. So guards means they roll three dice. They have 12. So it's 12, 11 in their favor, and they're going to get three dice. I'm not using... I have two artillery support left, and I'm not going to use them here. And I should have. They have 12. So they, they can't lose. They can't lose because they're already ahead 12 to 11. So, um, I mean, I'll roll anyway, but it's a definite repulse. And it's a nine, so that is a repulse. Put them there. We lose another morale point, so we're down to 12 now. Um, yeah, so ultimately I should have used, uh, if I had used both my artillery, I would have won that fight. So let's, uh, let's attack, um, let's attack up here. Uh, okay, do I want to split these guys and hope for a good roll? No. I don't. So we're going to take 7. Lead plus 3 is 10. And we're going to attack here. Little Mushroom. Barrage is uh, you have to place somebody in there or cancel our attack. We will we'll put our 3, 6 here out from the 16th Panzer. So our attack now is 9. Plus 2 is 11. Plus 4 is 13 against 10. I mean, plus four is 15, sorry. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, plus the two for the, uh, the, the division and the morale is 11, 13, 15. It is 15 to 10. The Russians get a 10. Not rolling well from the German perspective, so they have 20 now. 20 to 15, and we rolled an 11, so that would be 26 to 20, and this is taken care of all right so not a complete disaster but not a great turn we lost three morale because we got repulsed three times and we had to send a couple units to the out of action box i have five units in my out of action box now so um yeah this is this is not going really this is not going great let's just put it that way all right so that would be the end of turn number 10 uh, except I want to move some move some units up. I have these guys over here. So we have the 100th Division and the 245, 245th uh, Battalion here. Let's um, let's move these guys up. So we're going to move them here. So this would be one. No, it would actually be two. This would be two as well. So that's four. And then, so all these guys move up, they get spent, and now I have options to attack this area as well if I want to. Um, and that's going to end the turn, so I'm going to reset, flip everybody, and we'll, we'll get started with turn 11 here momentarily. All right, on to turn 11. First thing we do is uh, roll for, uh, we don't have any withdrawals or anything, so we're going to roll for our random event. And we get a 10, and a 10 on the current chart is still Commissars. So all the Soviet defense values will be increased by one this turn. Now let's roll for our supply. We had we carried six over from last turn. This time we have 9, 11, 13. So we're going to get 19. We're at 19. And I'm going to buy a morale to move us back to 13. So that drops us to 16. Then I'm going to buy, I'll buy my, uh, what do I want to buy out here? I'm going to buy this guy out of, out of there for two. That'll drop me to 14. And let's see, where do we want to put him? You can put him in any vacant area. I'm going to put him up here. And actually, I might buy, I'm going to buy two and I'm going to put them both up there. All right. So that cost me two more. We're down to 12. We get our two free air support, put those out, and I have 12 left. I will buy six artillery support. So, that, and that drops me back down to six, which is my usual 
landing spot. And so we will move on and start combat. All right. So first things first. Uh, first things first here. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to gonna bring this guy back to for one so i'm just gonna carry five i'm gonna carry five and i'll put him so we'll put him we'll put him here yeah we'll start here we have three lead units three so that's a whopping five we know they have a fanatic with 13 they're gonna have a 14 defense value so we're gonna throw in air support and three artillery support in here as well to try and get, well, we'll go with two artillery support. So they get three, they get the two point bonus. So three plus two is five plus two more is seven plus two more is nine. We'll use the air support. Let's see what we can deduct from them. Three. So that 14 becomes an 11. So it's 11, nine in favor of the Russians. They rolled a five, so they have 16. It's 16 to nine. And we rolled a five, so we get repulsed again. I have a bad feeling that I am not going to be successful at this. So we lose that morale point that we just bought. I need to attack that with something stronger than what I'm doing it with, apparently. So let's send these guys back in here. Why not? Five plus two is seven. They get only one bonus. That's eight. Let's give them an artillery support to make it ten. And then the enemy has fifteen. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try it anyway. And hope that I roll poorly for the Russians. Seven. So they have twenty-two. And we have what did I say? A ten. So I have to roll a twelve just to get uh just to get a stalemate. Eight. So that is another L. Back we go. And another morale point lost. And let's see. We have, oh, I didn't do the, I needed to do that. So let me roll for that. Bloody Streets, we rolled a five, which is a morale point loss. So we're down to 10. Now we have to do the fight. They have 12. Seven plus four plus one is 12. We have eight. Uh, yeah, only, we have nine. So let's throw in an air support and an artillery. So they have 11. It's 12-11 pending the air support. Let me roll that. Five. All right. So it's seven for the Russians and 11 for the Germans. So roll for the Russians. They get three, so they have ten. So we're going to win here. We get a seven. So we did win. They're eliminated. Flip these guys. We took the steel works. And both of these are back into to the used unit area. And I think, yep, that's all down here, so we need to move up okay so we'll start by sending our 14th again this time i'm going to leave this guy out he's going to stay here um, because we got one here and one here and i'm going to move him over i'll just mark them both spent because i'm not going to use them for anything else but i want to get these di this division back together these guys are going to go in the 14th panzer is going in they've got uh three uh, six plus two more is eight. They do get the two-point bonus here, although we're on the verge of losing that. So that gives them ten. <clears throat> and the Russians have thirteen. So it's thirteen ten. We'll throw in an artillery support to make it thirteen twelve. Roll for the Russians. They get five. That's a, yeah, that's a three. So that's eighteen to uh, twelve. And we get nine. So that's 21 to 18. So we capture the Sculptorny Park. 
that is spent, that goes out. Okay, uh, we have one, ar one artillery support left. And I have two attacks I wanna make. So we're gonna move these guys down here. So we have six plus one is seven. They have six. I'm not gonna employ my last support here. I'll save that for over here. Um, so we have, they have seven, five plus one plus one. We have uh, uh, five plus two is seven. So it's seven, seven. We'll roll for them first. Let's roll for them first. They get a five, so they have 12. 12, seven. Yeah. Oh, damn it. All right, well, we lost. Did not see that coming. I figured I'd be able to roll better than a five, but we rolled a four, so no dice, literally. And that moves our morale down to a nine, so now we lose another. Now they get a divisional bonus, the Russians. So let's move this. Um, let's move these guys in. We got to go for it. Let's t let's try this one. So Spartakovka is going to have a defense value barrage nine. So the barrage again is we have to either lose a unit or flip them all spent and retreat. You know what? I'm just going to retreat. Actually, we were here. So you don't lose a morale point for that at least. But that is going to end the turn. Our current situation is our morale is nine. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten areas to capture and three turns in which to do it. It is now turn 12. And we get the 79th Division as reinforcements. So we can put them in any vacant area. And they, let's see, where do we want to put these guys? Any vacant area. Let's put them up here. Put them up here. We have more things to capture at, at the top of the map than we do at the bottom. So we'll go up there. Um, all right. So let's roll for our uh, random event here. And we get a 13, and a 13 is rain, which would have been a logistical pause. But in this case, it means that we get no air support. So our two free air support are going to be grounded, much to our chagrin. Now let's roll for supply. And we get a good one. That's uh, 20. Nice. So we go to 25. 25. That's handy because I'm going to need it. Because I'm going to have to buy a bunch of support here. So with 25, what are we going to do? I'm going to buy some morale. I'm going to buy three morale for nine points to get back to 12. So uh, that leaves us with uh, 16. Air support I can't buy. I'll buy all eight artillery support, which will bring us down to eight. And I'll buy an engineer for two as well. Um, and that's that's it. That's it. So first thing we're going to do is uh, actually, you know what? I'm not buying an engineer. I'm going to buy my 16th Panzer out of Hawk here and return him. Uh, we'll return him here. All right, so I still have six, but now I only have one unit left in the out of action box. So that, that comes in handy. All right, so we're gonna pick this up here. We're gonna start now. Uh, I'm actually, I think I'm gonna start in the north because I feel like that's going to impact on what I do down here. So let me let me move the, uh, move the camera and we'll pick this up. So let's send these guys in right away. So, um, they have 12 here and we have four plus three would be seven plus two would be nine. So that would be nine against 12 and we will use an artillery support to make it 11, 12 and hope that we can roll better than the Russians. 
They rolled a four. So again, you think I'd be able to roll at least a five, you would think. <laughs> Holy moly. Well, the writing is on the wall. I am not going to win this scenario. Oh, well, onward and upward. Let's send these guys into this light urban area here so we can see what's in there. So they, this is the 16th. And they have, uh, oh, you know what? Let's bring this guy in. Well, no, I'm going to save him and we're going to attack this one, I think. So they have three units. Seven is the lead. That gives them a nine. Plus two is 11. Flip this over. Ambush nine. So ambush. We eliminate the lead unit uh, after combat resolution unless we get an, a, a repulse or an overrun. So... They are at uh, 12, and we are at 11, and we are going to give them an artillery support to give us a 13, and we're going to go for it. Oh, <laughs> holy mackerel, 24, we have 13, so I need to roll a 12, and no, of course not. Well, that moves our morale back down to 10, having lost two this turn. Holy mackerel, man. These guys are tough. This is tough. This scenario is much tougher than the, than the base scenario. Let's just say that. All right, 14th Panzer. What are we going to do with the 14th Panzer? I need to start, like, capturing some stuff here, and it's just not working. So 14th Panzer will go here for the Brick Factory. So 6, 8... Plus two is ten. Let's give them an artillery. Well, so guards eight, so they're going to roll three dice and drop the lowest. They have an eleven. We currently have a ten. Uh, let's go with one artillery support, leaving us with uh, five. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, that's probably about right. Okay, so... Six plus two is eight, plus two more for the divisional, and the morale is 10, plus two for that is 12, so it's 12, 11. We'll roll for the, for the Russians, get an eight, so they have 19, so it's 19, 12. We get a nine, so we finally get one that actually works out. Oh, I forgot to roll the third die for the, oh, crap. Well, I'm not re-rolling it. My luck's been bad enough in this game that I'm just going to take it. I'm sorry. If that offends your sensibilities, I apologize. Uh, all right. Yeah, I don't want to re-roll it. Um, ugh, now I feel like I'm cheating. Well... Uh, let's see. Mm. Let's move these three into here. Uh, with the 245B. He's going to stay, and this one will go in. Well, no, we'll just send him in. 5 plus 3 is 8. We're going to flip this guy over. Ambush. So, eliminate it after the combat unless we get an overrun. So, we'll do that, I guess. 5 plus 3 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. They have 11. We're going to throw an artillery support to make it 12-11. So, it's 12-11 in favor of the Germans. We'll roll. We get 6 for them. So, they have 17. 17 to 12. 17-15. So, there you go. And we lose the, uh, actually, that's a repulse. So they go back over here. And we don't lose the unit. So I'm going to send these guys in, too. Six plus two is eight. We only get a bonus of one, so that's nine. So it's 11, nine. Let's throw one more artillery to balance it at 11 and hope we can roll even. They don't get the ambush benefit this time. They get a five. 
and we get a 5. So they had 11 plus 5 is 16. We had 6, 8, 9 plus that is 11 as well. And we rolled a 5 for 16. So that, I believe, would be a tie. So we are in stalemate there. So we'll have some uh, bloody streets next turn. So let's reset the shot here. Okay. So let's do... Uh, yeah, our forces down here are not particularly uh, great. So we're going to send these three in, and I'm going to send this guy in as well from up here. So that would be... Uh, Yeah, that would be a five. Five is the lead, plus three is eight. They have 14. We're going to throw two artillery supports in there. So we have eight, plus two is 10, plus four is 14. So it's 14, 14. That's about as good as I can get it. Um, there, I have one artillery left, and I was going to use it here. They roll a nine. 23, we roll an 8. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> it was 14-14, and they beat us 9-8 on the roll for another repulse. Our morale, again, goes to 9, and we are now losing a point. There you go. The Soviets get a bonus point on the defense now. And I have one artillery support left. And this is not a great attack here. And in fact, I'm going to pass on it, to be honest with you. I am going to pass on it. Did these guys come from... Where did these guys come from? Because I have too many units in this, in this area. How did that happen? Oh, they lost here. But they were up here in, sculp in the sculpture park. That's what it was. And these guys were there. So I'm going to remate these guys up here. So these two are from the same unit as this guy. So he's going to move up uh, to there and meet them and join them. And I'll mark them spent too. And this guy here, he's going to... Maybe I will attack. What the hell, right? My morale's already low. So we'll do that. We're going to move these guys in here. So we have three plus three is six. Plus one is seven, plus two is nine. They're going to have 14, so it's 14, nine. This is really stupid, but I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, thank God. So it's 16, nine, since they only rolled a two. And we rolled a seven, so we tied. So we're in stalemate, but at least we didn't lose a morale point. And so that will end turn number 12, which did not go all that well for me here. So let's uh, reset for turn 13, and then we'll move on. Okay, so we're ready here. Let's roll for a uh, random event. We don't have any withdrawals or anything. And we roll a 10, and a 10 is Commissar. So they get a plus one on their rolls this turn. Um, supply roll, 8, 10, 11. Mm, not great. So we have 17. Okay, 17. I do want to buy some morale, so I'm going to buy 2 morale to go to 11. And that'll leave me with 11 points. Uh... I do get my two air support again, so that's good. And I'll buy my eight artillery support for eight. So that 11 is now a three. And that's all I'm doing. I'm going to leave this guy in the out-of-action box, although I would like to bring him on. I'm not going to be able to. And again, I think I'm going to start in the north and let that kind of dictate the way the action goes because that's the area where I need to make the most you know, the most progress, because the, these two here are just, they're just kicking my butt, to put it bluntly. So, uh, yeah, we're in turn 13 now. I need to mark that. All right, so we're ready to go for turn 13 here as soon as I reset the shot. 
Okay, turn 13. I don't want to forget to do it this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys here. We have two five sixes and a three six. So we're going to have seven plus two because our morale is currently above 10 or above nine rather. So uh, actually, no, plus one, plus one because we don't get the divisional integrity. So seven plus one is eight. They have a six. I'm going to give them one artillery support. So it'll be 10 6. They get an 8. So that's 14 10 now. And we get a 6. So 16 14. They win. Take the radar station. And these guys are spent. Okay. Now up here, uh, 12 and 12, it's pretty much the same. So we'll send these guys down here to the sports park. We have a 9, plus 2 is 11, they have a 12, we'll give them an artillery support as well. So that, uh, that uh, 11, right, 9... Plus 2 is 11. Plus 2 is 13. It's a 13 to 12. I forgot the Commissar here, but we won by 2. So the extra 1 wouldn't have made a difference. But I do want to account for it here. So they have 12. Plus 1 is 13. We have 9. Plus 2 plus 2 is also 13. So we'll roll. They get a 6. So they have 19. We get a 10, so we have 23, and we'll win. Okay, so that's two artillery support there. Now we'll take these guys. They have uh, four plus three support units, seven. They do get the divisional bonus, so that's 10. I mean, I'm sorry, nine. They get 13, three plus nine plus one. So it's uh, 13 to 9. I have 6 of those left. Let's go for... Let's go for 2. 13, 13. They get a 7, so they have 20. We get an 8, so we win by 1. All right, we're making some progress now. This is getting a little bit better. Still a lot to uh, a lot to conquer here to uh, actually win this. Okay, so we'll take these guys here, the 14th Panzer. They'll attack uh, this heavy urban in 41. The uh, Dzerzhinsky Tractor Factory, which was pretty famous. So they have 6 plus 2 is 8. They do get the divisional bonus to be at 10. We will give them an air support and an artillery support. So they have 12. Let's see what the Russians have. They have ambush for 9. And ambush, of course, eliminates the lead unit after resolution. So, so they're going to have a 14. We'll roll one die. <laughs> and it's a 1. So they have 13, we have 6, uh, 8, 10, 12, so it is uh, 13 to 12. Now we'll roll, we'll roll for them. They get a 7, so they have 20. We get 5, so we have uh, 18, so that is a repulse. And the roll has come to a halt. So that is there. This goes back there. So we have one air support and three artillery support left. We have three attacks left, four attacks left, actually. I forgot to do this. I should have done this first because this is, well, let me move my morale down to 10. This is um, uh, Bloody Streets. So I need to roll one die. And I rolled a four. And a four is no effect, thankfully. Okay, so here we have an 11, plus 1 is 12. We have 6, plus 2 is 8. 
They only get a plus one, so it's nine. So it is 12 to nine. We will employ an artillery support to give them uh, a 12 to 11. So we'll roll for the Russians. They get nine, so they're at 21. The Germans get 10. So 10 plus, what was it? Uh, two, four, 10, 20. Uh, the Russians win. So this is a retreat. And now we're back under 10 again. Our morale goes to nine. Let's have this guy attack. Yeah, we'll have him attack the bread factory. So he's gonna have a base of eight. It's light urban. Barrage seven. So the barrage, you either place an attacking unit or you do a, uh, you flip them all to spent and retreat. So we'll do that. I can't really afford to take another, another loss there. Um, let's take these guys because we'll get the, the bonus here and move this up a, a here as well. So that's barrage eight. So again, I'm just going to mark them spent and retreat them, not lose the morale. But I am revealing them and then they don't get the, they won't get the barrage bonus when I attack them again. So that's the thinking here. Now here we have a combat in place. We have uh, three plus three is six. They do get the divisional integrity, so they have uh, seven. The Russians have 14 plus one because of the morale is 15. So this is 15 against seven. Uh, they're going to get the air support. And they're going to get one of the artillery support. So that would be 15 against nine pending the roll, which is a four. So it's 11 against 9 now. And they rolled a 2. So they have uh, 13 and we have 9. So maybe we pull this out finally. And it looks like we do. 10. So we do. We finally, we finally crack this one. So we finally crack that one, which is nice. And Mamayev... Kurgan is a uh, German now. Uh, put that there, take this off. So we have one artillery support and one attack to make here. Uh, five. So that would be eight. Plus one is nine. Plus two is 11. They're going to have 15. So it's 15 to 11, they get seven more. So it's 22 to 11, we're gonna take another loss here. We get eight, so it's 22, 19, which as I said is a loss. The oil refinery continues to be the nut I cannot crack. So that goes there and our morale is now down to an eight. So uh, things, are, things are not good. I should have bypassed that attack to be honest, but I figured I would take a shot at it. So I'm going to reset now. Um, yeah, I'm going to reset now. I realize you probably didn't see much here, but these were the units that participated in that attack right here. So we did get the divisional integrity for the plus one because we had the 71st uh, division there. But as I mentioned, not enough. Not enough, not enough. Story of the game. So we only need to take... One, two, three, four, five, six, I think six. And we have one turn in which to do it. So it all comes down to this, as they say. Okay, here we go. Turn 14. We will roll for random event and get a 11, which again is commissar. So they get the one bonus. Now we roll for our supply. We get 11, 13. On top of the three we kept, we have 16. 16. I do need to spend... I do get my two air support. I'm going to spend uh, six on morale just to get, you know, back up to 10. So that I can get that plus one. So that's going to put me right at 10. And... Uh, So we'll buy we'll buy seven artillery 
to give us three. And we'll spend our last three on that third air support. And we need to roll well on the air support rolls. All right, it is time for the nitty and the gritty. So, uh, well, let's go for this. We have these guys. We're going to go in here again. I don't even, I'm not even going to reset the shot. I think we've got the center. This is the area right here. This is the area that we're going to be fighting in. So, so we have an eight. They have 14. Uh, we get the plus two. So we have 10 to 14, actually 15 for them because they get the plus one for commissars. So it's 15, 10. We are going to use an air support. We are going to use two artillery support. So we have 14. They have 15. We're going to roll for our air support and get a six. This time we should win this. So their 15 becomes a nine, and we have eight plus two is 10 plus four is 14. So it's 14 to nine. We'll roll for the Russians, and they get a 10. So they have 19. They have 19. We roll the 12, so we do win. We do win. That was a tough nut to crack. And it doesn't leave me with a lot of extra support to use either. Um, well, we have no, no supply left. But we did take it, so... Okay, we're going to move on now. I'm going to use... I'm going to use these guys here. I think, yeah, we'll use these guys here. So six plus one is seven. They have 12. Again, we're going to use one air support. And we'll use one artillery support. And we really hope we roll well here. So uh, eight plus one is nine plus two is 11. They have 12. We rolled a two, so they have 10. So it's 11, 10. This is going to be dicey, to say the least. They rolled a two. 12, 11. So it's impossible for me to lose, but we'll roll it anyway, and we get a nine. So we win here as well. Um, we might pull this out. Uh, let's just say hope is still alive. Um, hope is still alive. We still need to, to roll well. Uh, yeah. We still need to roll well. And so next, if I move that in there with them, that would give me an extra point. I'd still have my division. Well, I'm going to do I'm going to just go with the, and hope that this one point doesn't kill me. So they're going to have 14 here because it's a nine and a four and a one. That's 14 for them on the defense. We have seven, nine. Plus uh, two is 11. So it's 11 to 14 right now. And how many do we still need to take? One, two, three, four. So we have four attacks still to make. So I'm going to use one of these. And I'm going to use my last air support here as well. Because these are, that's an 11. It'll be a 12. This will be an 11. This is a, that's a 14. I got to use it here. We don't know what that one is yet, but we just have to hope for the best. And we get a six. Yes. Okay. So that 15 or 14 rather becomes an eight. So that's an eight. I did get, do pretty well with my air support there. So we have uh, nine plus two is 11 plus one or two rather is 13. So it is 13 to eight. They get a nine. So they have 17. So 17, 13. And we get a nine, so we win. All right. I probably didn't do that in the correct order, but I will take it. And the reason I say that is because I could have used these guys to push in as well and saved them. But I'm on the I'm on the brink here morale wise, so I didn't want to risk it. And that's why I made that particular choice there. Now, I was cold and I put this sweatshirt on and now I'm getting hot. Um, so let's take the uh, the 14th Panzer here and we're going to attack the bread factory. So that's 8 plus 2 is 10 
they get an 11. So it's 11-10. We don't have any air support left, but we do have artillery. So it is uh, 12 to 11. They get 8, so they have 19. 19 to 12. And we get a 6. So they win 19-18. So that's bad. So these guys were here, I think, or here. They were here. Right? But if they were there, where were these guys? Oh, they were in the brick factory. That's right. So here's the artillery support goes away. Our morale is now nine. We lose our attack value plus one, and they get the plus one. But more importantly, they defended the bread factory successfully. So now uh, it's real dicey for me to, to be able to pull this off because I have to attack it twice. So we're going to do it again. We got five plus three is eight plus one is nine and they have an 11. So again, we're going to throw this in and make it 11, 11. Roll for them. They get a seven. So they have uh, 18. And now we have to hope that we roll well and we roll the three. So that's going to actually do it because it's impossible for me to win now. I cannot... Uh, I cannot win because I cannot get, I cannot capture everything now. So I'm going to wrap it up and um, because these two last two, they don't even matter at this point. I know I lost. It's impossible for me to win. So uh, I took the L. Again, it was fairly close. I mean, I came up too, too short here. So uh, this game is difficult to win. I will say that. Uh, it does come down to rolling the dice and... I think an under what some people might overlook when they think about when they look at this game and watch my playthrough and think, well, there's not a lot of strategy involved. There actually is a lot of strategy involved because you almost have to think a move or two ahead of yourself while you're doing this because you leave yourself in situations where you might not be able to get a unit to a place you need to get it to because there's not enough time. So you're trying you're racing the clock, but you're also trying to conquer as much as possible. And if you don't have a good uh, plan where you think think things through maybe a turn or two ahead you're going to end up probably getting jammed up which is kind of what happened to me in the first game not so much in this game this game came down to just bad rolls at bad times at the end so really enjoy this game though it's it's kind of addicting and it is um, not overly complicated and it's fun and it's challenging so it's got all the, it checks all the boxes that i look for in a game so I hope, uh, I hope this was useful for those of you who watched it. I do appreciate, as always, you taking the time to, to watch the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please consider liking, sharing, or subscribing. But that's going to do it. My name's Joe. This is Hext Encountered. And until next time, happy gaming.